Tonight, we're getting a look inside South Dakota's first medical marijuana dispensary. The Native Nations Dispensary is expected to open in July, on July 1st, when medical marijuana is set to become legal in South Dakota. Kelloland Sarah McDonald went on a tour of the facility on the Flandreau Santee Sioux Reservation today. She gives us a look inside. The dispensary on the reservation will be another option for South Dakotans who meet the requirements. The tribe has been preparing for months. The Attorney General for the tribe tells us cards from other states will be accepted and it will also be issuing its own cards. South Dakota's first dispensary will open to customers on Thursday inside what was once a police station. We'll have a, an intake side where we'll check everybody's ID, we'll make sure that they have a medical card, um, where we'll retain them, and then we can buzz them through the door while they go into the dispensary side. On the dispensary side, you'll find four spots where you can purchase products. Work is still underway on the lab and kitchen portion of the building. We have a temporary extraction lab and processing facility here behind you that you see. Um, what we're doing in here is we're making edibles, um, smokables, and concentrates. Over in the cultivation facility, Areas are divided up to house plants during different stages of growth. On the first floor is where we do all of our propagation, all of our cloning. Um, we also have our incubators there for accelerating the roots. This is the vegetation area of the cultivation facility. This is where the plants live to help maximize their production before going to the flower room. In the flower room, we have a canopy of 5,280 square feet, one plant per square foot. It will produce about 80 pounds a week. Um, it's a, it's a style of growing perpetual harvesting, so we don't grow an entire room and then cut it all down. We take one row down a week. To date, the business has hired 15 employees. 90% are tribal members. Hunt expects to eventually have 75 to 100 employees. Right now, the main focus is getting everything ready for Thursday. Yeah, we're not quite sure uh, exactly the amount of people that will be coming on the, the day we open by any means, but we anticipate that you know, some of the uh, inefficiencies in other medical programs in the area could lead people from other jurisdictions coming on the reservation to purchase. Now they're ready to go, but Sarah, the question is, will people be able to take that medical cannabis off the reservation? Yeah, so Pierman says he believes it will be legal for anyone with a medical card on or after July 1st to purchase medical marijuana on the reservation and take it home with them. You can read more information on the tribe's medical cannabis ordinance under this story on Kelloland.com.